On that story, we joined in studio by reporter Aldrin Sampier. Aldrin, do you tell us what was revealed at the briefing? Give us all details. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, this, these allegations made by the DA MP Hussein have totally been squashed, mm -hmm. not only by the Department of Home Affairs because they, give, they gave their initial briefing, as you just heard there from the Director General of the Department of Home Affairs, but also VSF Global because they were there as well in that briefing and only after the briefing did we get a chance to speak to them. And literally within two minutes, they managed to diffuse the allegations and squash these allegations as well. Mm. So um, what um, Janit from VSF Global um, Africa said, the chief operating officer said, was that there is um, Island Site Investment 309. That is the one that is linked to VSH Global, to VSF Global. And then you have... Um, Island, Side, um, Island Side Investment 255, that is the one that's linked to the Gupta family. And they made it, they made it clear that they have no, absolutely no links to the Gupta family. This is VSF Global. They have no links whatsoever to the Gupta family or President, President Jacob Zuma's son, Duduzan. Mm. Mm. Now, but Aldrin, take us back a little bit. I mean, these allegations... Can you give us more insight as to where they emanate from and how this connection was made specifically to Home Affairs Minister Malusi Gigaba, who wasn't even minister at that time? It's quite strange, actually, how um, the DAMP got to that conclusion that uh, Minister, what, what, minister Malusi Gigaba managed himself? to influence um, the contract. And remember mm. that when he spoke in Parliament about this, he mentioned all these allegations against, uh, against the minister as well as against the department. And the insinuation that was created there was that, um, and this is a question that I ask um, uh, the, the DG as well, is that when you signed the contract back in 2010, uh, was there a condition attached to it that, um, uh, it, that island, side invest, uh, island side investment arm should be or should be brought in as a partner of VSF Global, whether it not be in this country specifically, but in another country, because VSF Global is, is a multinational company. Yes. It operates in about 163 other countries, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Was that condition attached to it? And he said, absolutely not. Not even here in South Africa, but the only condition that was attached to the contract was that VSF Global should make sure that there is a South African partnership in that contract, in that tender, and there is absolutely no doubt, he's gone through the, through, through the documents, that there is no links to all the companies in that contract, mm. no links whatsoever to the Gupta family or President Jacob Zuma's son, Tutuzan. But here I do understand, though, where um, the confusion could have come for, for, for Mr. Hussein, who made that correlation that there could be a link, because he, you have a company, both the names are investment site, in, uh, uh, rather they are called island site investment, they have the same name. The only difference is right at the end, and that's the 309. The 309 is linked to the, glo to, to the global company, mm -hmm. and 255 is linked to the Gupta family and mm -hmm. President Jacob Zuma's son, Tutuzan. Very interesting observation there. Now, Aldrin, uh, do you know if uh, the DA uh, member um, has made any further statements in terms of taking the matter further? Um, he hasn't made any further statements, but uh, what we understand from the Home Affairs Department is that they want to take this further. Mm. Um, they, the minister will be writing to Parliament seeking an apology and um, seeking that uh, Mr. Hussein also withdraw um, the statements and the insinuations that he made in Parliament. And probably another investigation, chances are that um, global, glo the, the VSF Global could lay charges against or sue probably Mr. Hussein because the concerns there are that um, you must understand that this is a global company that's a listed company yes. and some of their shares have taken a knock because of these allegations. Mm. So they might take further steps, but they said to have a briefing again uh, tomorrow just on, t on the way forward, what happens now, and in terms of clarity that we seek as the media. And thank you for the clarity that you've just given us here in studio. Aldrin Sampier with us here in studio.